So now after understanding the conditional statements and the syntax of conditional statements, it is time to actually execute a code and see how it works. So over here I've written, uh, written a very, very simple example to make you understand the if statement and it goes like this. So I've created a double D uh, variable over here, uh, like which, which gets its number from uh, math.random and math.random is nothing but a predefined method inside the math class which returns any random value. So whatever value it will return, uh, we want this value to be compared with 100. And if this value is greater than 100, then the code written inside this if statement should get executed. And if it is not greater than 100, then in that case, it, it should just skip the code which is written inside this if log. And that's all what we want to do. So what we have written down over here is if statement and inside the parenthesis, the condition which we want to evaluate. Uh, we can also write down multiple conditions over here uh, with the help of like different operators. But I think I should just skip that for now. Uh, yeah, so this is a very simple condition that we have written down. If this condition will return true, then this statement will get executed. Or, and in fact, this block, whatever the code which is written in between this uh, these curly braces will get executed. And if this condition will return false, it will just skip this particular block. Uh, from executing in, the, in this particular code. Similar to the if statement uh, example that I just created, I've also created an example for if else statement. Let's have a look. Uh, so in this, what I have done is, I have uh, written down two code blocks which should get executed uh, according to the condition. So the condition is still the same. D is greater than 100. Uh, if D is greater than 100, execute the code which is written in here. And if it is not greater than 100, then it should execute this particular code. So if you have a scenario like um, if this is true, do this, else do this. So in that case, you need to write down the if else statement, right? And uh, if the condition will be true, the if statement block will get executed. And if the condition will be false, the else statement block will get executed. So if the number is going to be less than 100, uh, it will just execute this particular code. And if the number is uh, greater than 100, then it will execute this particular code. Now it is time to have a look onto if else if statement. The one in which you have multiple conditions and based on different different conditions, uh, you need to execute different different code, right? So what we've done over here is uh, in the if else if statement, if D is greater than 300, then it should just go to go and execute this particular code. That is the number is greater than 300. If D is greater than 200, it should say number is greater than 200, but less than 300. How it can say that it is less than 300? I mean, we have not written down any condition like this over here. Any guesses? Okay, let me tell you. If like if this code is getting executed, if this if else uh, if this else if statement is getting executed or this condition is getting evaluated, that basically means that this condition returned false. So what that like what does that mean? If this condition returned false, then only it will evaluate this condition. So that basically means that if it is not greater than 300, then it is definitely less than or equal to 300, right? It might be equal to 300 because we have not included equal to in here. But yeah, the number is greater than 200, but less than or equal to 300. Similarly, if this condition will be true, the code over written over here will get executed and all of the other else ifs and the else blocks will be bypassed and the code will go further. But if this condition returns false, then in that case, this condition will get evaluated and this will say the number is greater than 100 but less than equal to. Less than or equal to 200. So that's what it is. And if all of these conditions, D is greater than 300, D is uh, uh, greater than 200, D is uh, greater than 100, evaluates to false, then in that case, this will return the number is less than or equal to 100. So that's how it goes. I hope you are able to understand how to actually write down an if statement, if else statement, and if else if statement. See you in the next video.